The Art of Rhetoric, Persuasive Techniques in Advertising. Persuasive rhetoric can appear in a variety of media, from a high school debate to a billboard on the street. Regardless of the type of persuasive argument, the goal remains the same. Convince the audience of your point of view. Authors of any persuasive argument, in this case advertisers, often approach this goal in similar ways. By making emotional appeals, by building credibility and trust, and by using logic and reason. Greek philosopher Aristotle used three terms to describe these rhetorical strategies. Pathos, ethos, and logos. Not every advertisement will use all three of these techniques, but most use a combination of at least two to persuade the consumer to invest in a product. The first persuasive technique we'll look at is pathos. Pathos refers to an emotional appeal. An advertisement using pathos will attempt to provoke an emotional response in the consumer. Often it's a positive emotion such as excitement, snickers, head and shoulders, a product called iHome, and even milk can add excitement to your life. And just look what kind of adrenaline rush you'll get from a Honda Civic. Seven horsepower Civic SI from Honda. It'll reverse your thinking. The promise of being attractive to the opposite sex is probably the most common use of pathos. Apparently, even dentine gum can be sexy. Attention, boys and girls. Dentine ice is coming out of its shell, revealing a side never before seen and creating quite a sensation. New dentine ice soft chew, a whole new way to go bold. And sometimes an advertisement will pull on the heartstrings. Who can resist a child's birthday party? Buy a Sony Cybershot. Or look at the adorable baby who just wants his Cheerios. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Toes. Gracias. Mm. Can I have the milk, please? Yeah. Mm. Can mm. Mm. And occasionally, pathos can work in the opposite way, by associating a product with the prevention of something negative in your life. Use State Farm Insurance in case this happens. The next rhetorical strategy we'll take a look at is ethos. Ethos in advertising refers to establishing the credibility or character of the product. Often this is done by brand association. Cheese nips, for example, contain real craft cheese. New nips. Now with more real Kraft cheese. Kraft is a well-known and trusted brand, and therefore you can also trust cheese nips. Expert testimonials also lend credibility. A positive review from a critic you trust can make you want to see a particular movie. Doctors and dermatologists are always giving their anonymous approval to products. However, another type of ethos commonly seen in advertising is the celebrity endorsement. There's no reason why actress Hayden Panettiere is more qualified to endorse milk than the average person, but her appearance in the ad offers the impression of credibility. Rapper Common doesn't design clothes for the Gap, but if he wears them, you might also want to. And take a look at how many celebrities are endorsing this Moto phone with iTunes. <laughs> Oh, and another one. Peggy, no! A uh, hundred tunes in your phone, baby. Hello, Moto. If you have this phone, you're that much closer to being famous. The final rhetorical strategy to examine is logos. Simply put, this is an appeal to logic or reason. The logos of an advertisement is straightforward. It tells you exactly what the product does, how it works, what it is used for. The voiceover on the Cheerios ad gives you practical information about Cheerios health benefits. Turns out the cereal that's a healthy choice for your children is the same cereal that's good for your heart. However, logos is often more effective in print than it is on television where there is much less time to read. 
This iHome ad gives you specific details on its functions, clear information that the consumer needs to know. In fact, Internet sites may be the most effective at delivering the logos in an ad because the consumer can discover as much about the product as he or she wishes. This Avino website allows the consumer to learn more, where he or she is led to specific details about their line of products. Pathos, Ethos, and Logos Defined by Aristotle over 2,000 years ago, these three rhetorical techniques are now utilized in all forms of advertising.